In this second video on the effect pedals, we are going to have a look at the distortion pedal. Most that are trying to get a classic rock tone out of hardcore, or perhaps something a little heavier, then the distortion will be an essential piece in the pedal chain. As most of you already know, distortion is used to give the guitar a more dirty, crunchy tone. There are only four controls on this one pedal that will shape the character of the distorted tone. In the analog world, distortion is often the result of the input being amplified more than the output of an amp can handle. The more gain that is applied to the input, the more the output will become distorted. With the distortion pedal, the distortion parameter will emulate in hardcore this analog behavior. Higher values of this parameter will give the guitar's tone more distortion. The infernal parameter will add some resonance to the lower end frequencies, add more fullness and body to the sound. Higher values here will have more of this low frequency resonance. The comb parameter applies a series of comb filters across the frequency spectrum. The filters are narrow band filters that cut frequencies at their respective bands. Higher values will have a more drastic filtering effect. The glass parameter is a high cut frequency filter. Larger values here will attenuate more of the higher frequency, creating a more full bodied sound. However, applying too much of the glass parameter may make the distorted tone sound a tad dull and lifeless, so adjust sparingly. So in this video, we took a look at the four parameters that make up the distortion pedal. In the next video, we'll start our look at the modulation effect pedals in Hardcore.